Hey everybody, my name is Philip Shepard. I'm a local real estate agent located right here in North East Arkansas. And today we're talking about LOL, not LOL, LOL. Everyone is sleeping on LOL in North East Arkansas. No one talks about it. It's kind of wedged in between a bunch of other cities, but yet it might be one of the fastest growing areas in North East Arkansas. And today we're talking about just that. So let's talk about that. But before we begin, if you like and share this video with a friend or family, that would make the world a difference. I try to produce as much content as humanly possible about North East Arkansas, obviously. So liking and also sharing, make sure that everyone can live, work, and play all in NWA. So thanks a lot, guys. I appreciate it. Also, if you are coming down to North East Arkansas, definitely give me a call. We can meet up for coffee, check out some homes for sale or for rent, and see all the cool things happen in North East Arkansas when you get into town. But just let me know, and I'll make sure to put it on my calendar. And if you haven't been down to North East Arkansas quite yet, I made something called the NWA Starter Pack. Sounds exactly what it is. It's literally a starter pack full of all the cool things North East Arkansas. What's going on in downtown Benville? What's going on in Fayetteville? What's going on in Springdale? What are the hospitals like? What are the schools like? What is going on all over at the Ellis Walton School of Medicine? What is going on over at Pinnacle? There's so much going on and it's just you need to know all the information. Boop, 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 package right to your home. Ship right to your home. Enter your name below, enter your address below. Where am I shipping this package to? Where is this package going to? Let me know in all the information below. I'll make sure they get the package shipped to you right away. Also, side note, it does come with your first free mountain bike, so that's pretty cool. And, 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 and I know what you're thinking, I know what you're thinking. It is my favorite four letter F word. Free! So enter your information below, i make sure they get the package shipped to you right away. All right, so there will be six parts to this whole little segment about why Lowell is a fast growing area of North East Arkansas. The sixth one is my bonus round, which is my favorite round, of course, and probably a little unexpected. So let's backtrack a little bit and talk about what Lowell is, where it is, where it's located, and what's going on over in Lowell. So Lowell is actually kind of wedged between Rogers and Springdale. Usually, usually, when it comes to chamber events and like we're talking chamber of commerce and stuff, usually Rogers and Lowell kind of go hand in hand, like it's kind of like the kind of combination there. And then Springdale and Tiny Town to some extent. But so what at the moment is that I can see that Lowell's kind of breaking away, becoming his own city and becoming his own branding and doing his own stuff. Lowell has sits, population sits around 10,000 people, which is not a lot. You know, like places like Prairie Grove have 7,000 people. Places like Farmington have around 8,000 people. Prairie uh, Pea Ridge has about uh, seven to 8,000 people at the moment. So Lowell is actually kind of bigger a city when it comes to population it has a lot of miles to it actually it, it, it sits right along 49 so it's kind of in that major spot of development in north of arkansas so obviously when it comes to future stuff we'll, we'll talk about that in a second but just know that around 10,000 people some of it sits on the west side of 49 a lot of it sits on the east 49 so let's jump into some of those reasons right now and the first reason why we need to talk about why Lowell is kind of a sleeper city, and this is probably the elephant in the room, is the fact that Costco, the Costco, the Costco, a uh, direct competitor to Walmart, is planting their flag in Lowell. And I think it's very interesting because, you know, they could have gone to Benville, which, oh my, uh, risky move there. But uh, they could have gone to Rogers, of course, they could have gone to Fayetteville, but they chose Lowell. And I'm sure that Lowell had a lot of incentive structure, et cetera, good land, and we're going to start seeing a trend here that Costco requires a lot of land for obvious reasons. And so there's a lot of available land in, in Lowell. And obviously we'll talk more about that in a second. But that's going to be a big draw to the area for, to Lowell is because the fact that it's like it's right there. It's like in Lowell right next to 49, which we will talk about. But that's one of the big things that put Lowell again on the map is beyond the housing that's there, beyond all the things. But Costco has chosen to put Lowell in like in North Arkansas in Lowell. So that's going to be a big draw to the area because like, I mean, everyone knows my dream is to live above a pizza parlor, but if I can live next to a Costco, that's a, that's a close second, that's a close second. And number two of why Lowell is kind of a sleeper city that really needs to be looked at is the fact that Lowell, like almost everywhere in North East Arkansas, is dedicating so much land to parks and recreation. You're seeing a trend here with North East Arkansas. It seems like people around here like to spend time on the 500 miles of trail systems. They like to spend time on their bikes. They like to spend time hiking. They like to spend time outdoors because we can all year long. So Lowell got the message, of course, obviously because it's part of North East Arkansas, wedged between Springdale and and the whole area. And so they got the message and said, we're gonna dedicate over 200 acres to just recreation, whether it's baseball fields, trail systems, uh, just things to do and hangout spots. They're getting ready for the next thing within North East Arkansas and they don't wanna be behind the ball. That's why they decided to put 200 acres. So if you're looking to move to Lowell or kind of in somewhere in that area, just know that there's gonna be a lot of parks and recreation developed right in that area. 
And the third reason why Lowell is kind of a sleeper city that people really don't know about, and this is more of an obvious one, is that Lowell is kind of in the direct line of 49. Like literally it's cut in half in 49. A good rule of thumb when it comes to development around Northwest Arkansas, if you're looking to buy a home, buy some land, buy whatever the case is, anywhere close to 49, you're gonna do good there. You're gonna do just fine. And so if you are looking to move to the area, uh, keep that in mind, easy access to 49. If you want to it up to Walmart, uh, HQ, Tyson's, uh, you know, JB Hunt, or down to the university when it comes to Fayetteville, or anywhere down into the, you know, small to mid-sized or even larger businesses in Fayetteville or vice versa, you know what I'm saying. Easy access to 49, big deal. And so it's one of the nice things with Lowell is that easy access to 49, you're hopping either from the west side over to 49 or east side to 49, makes it very easy. So if you're all looking to move to the area and you want to do a more shorter trip of things, definitely keep that in mind. Whoa, whoa, before we jump on to the next point, I have something brand new called Instant Home Updates. So maybe you're looking to move down to Northwest Arkansas and you're using things like Realtor.com, Zillow.com, or Redfin. Way too slow, notifications, way too slow. That's why I made something called Instant Home Updates. Sounds exactly what it is. It's literally Instant Home Updates. So enter your information below, enter your name below, square footage, bedrooms, bathrooms, where do you want to move to Northwest Arkansas? What's your price range? All the things when it comes to homes for like that you want to be aware of. Enter all that information below. I'll make sure you don't miss a single notification when it comes for homes for sale or for rent, all in Northwest Arkansas. Also, side note, Every single Friday, I send an email out just kind of talking about all the cool things north of Arkansas. What's going on in Bentonville? What's going on in Fayetteville? What's going on in downtown Rogers? What's going on in the amphitheater? What's going on in, in literally in all the farmer's markets? All the cool things you want to know about north of Arkansas, enter that information below. Just name an email. I'll make sure you get that email every single Friday. Also, side note, you will get a little fear of missing out, little FOMO, so to speak. But I promise you will be the most informed person eventually when you make your way down to north of Arkansas. And number four, and this kind of goes back to number three, kind of talking about, you know, I-49. Uh, that's the fact that it's literally the middle of North Arkansas is Lowell. So if you want that sweet spot, that sweet, sweet spot of like middle, middle NWA, Lowell, keep that on the radar. Because Springdale kind of hovers there, but Lowell really is that middle spot. So if you want to enjoy the perks of Fayetteville and the perks of Bentonville and the perks of Bella Vista, if you own land up there, or the perks of Rogers for the most part, because you're right there, definitely keep Lowell in mind. Because honestly, a lot of times when people live in Fayetteville, they don't oftentimes travel up to Bentonville at times and, and vice versa. But if you live in Lowell, you kind of get the best of both worlds like Hannah Montana and Miley Cyrus, obviously. So keep that in mind if you're kind of moving to Northwest Arkansas, Lowell. Kind of in the middle, you get the best of both worlds. And number five when it comes to uh, Lowell being kind of a sleeper town is the fact that there's already a lot of housing development being done there. There will be more, but housing development is already being done there uh, qu quite a bit. There's a lot of investors that have moved into the area and, and obviously seen Lowell in the land prices and development, etc. And so, and the closeness to 49, of course, and now Costco being there, um, that's going to change a lot of things, of course. But long story short, there are a lot of developments of housing there. So if you're looking to the area, uh, it's not as much as Fayetteville or Bentonville, but just know that there's a good amount of like housing being developed there. The only side note is that a lot of the houses are probably like five to seven years old, which is totally fine, of course. But if you're looking for that newer style, new construction home, the only developments that are happening like on the radar at the moment are on the far east side of Lowell. So it might be a little bit of a hike from Lowell over to 49. But I do know 100% that there's a lot of development being done, getting ready, being developed, etc. that'll be closer to 49. So just kind of keep that in mind. When you do move into the area, uh, it might be, you know, six months to a year from now, keep Lowell on the docket and there might be a lot more development being happened in Lowell. Uh, and it might, you might find that perfect house in Lowell, Arkansas. And number six, we cannot forget my favorite round, bonus round, my favorite round, of course. Uh, and this actually is going to uh, bunny trail, pig trail, whatever you want to call it, uh, um, off our bunny bunny hop, off of uh, Springdale. So Mount Fitzgerald, every city has its, has its mountain. You know, we have in Fayetteville, it has Mount Sequoia, we have Mount Kessler, we have Centennial Mountain, we also have Lake Weddington. In Bentonville, uh, there's obviously Kohler Mountain. In Bella Vista, it literally is. It li <laughs> they have their own stuff up there. Literally, there's a mountain, mountain up there. Uh, Back 40 Trails, the whole thing. Springdale has Mount Fitzgerald. And so we're going to kind of, uh, we're going to pick off of a Springdale on this one. And so right south of, of actual Lowell is Mount Fitzgerald. So many miles of trails down there. Really good trail system. So if you are into the mountain biking scene, hiking, running, the whole thing, Mount Fitzgerald is literally a hop, hop skip away. You can literally see it off of like, if you're in Lowell, you can see it over in the, I, not, I don't live in Lowell, but like you can see it over there all the time. So one of the best things about living in Lowell is just kind of like using Mount Fitzgerald all the time. Also closeness to Beaver Lake, really nice. So you, if you want to leverage the water, definitely don't forget about Beaver Lake. 
All right, that's all I have for you guys today. Again, if you are thinking about coming down to Northwest Arkansas, download my 3D itinerary link below. Maybe you're a venture, maybe you're a sports person, maybe you're a foodie, maybe you're a sightseer, maybe you have kids, whatever it is. There's a 3D itinerary link down below for you. So go ahead and download it and usually get down here. Also, when you do come down here, I can give it a $10 tour so I can kind of show you around the whole area. Plus, we can check out some homes for sale or for rent and see how far your dollar would go in Northwest Arkansas compared to where you're coming from. All right, guys, we'll see you next one. Thank you.